Hello, welcome, year three, to your live PE lesson. Click on the thumbs up if you can hear me. Uh, so good to see how many people we got in the live chat room. So far, we've got 16 of you. Fantastic. Awesome to see that all of you are here for your live PE lesson. So all you need to have is a water bottle and an open space because we are going to be using lots and lots of movement today. You are going to be getting very active. You're going to get sweaty. You're going to get out of breath. And that is perfect because that is going to make us healthier. If someone is at home, firstly, get them to take some photos and videos of you. Post them to me. Send them to me so that I can see. Put them in Google Classroom also. Then get that person to join in with you because it's always fun to do a workout with someone, not just by yourself. So today we're going to have lots of high energy. We are going to be doing a cardio workout. We are also going to be looking at some skills for the week for you to look at also. So we're going to do a warm up, some cardio fun, and then we're going to look at our unit which is striking and we're going to have a couple of little activities for you to try at home and for you to see me do it whilst you watch so let's get us started guys we are going to start with our little warm-up which is going to start at the bottom of our body so we're going to use our ankles first so come up onto your toes you're going to roll your ankles making sure that you are getting lots and lots of movement through this joint. Our ankles are very important to us because we use them every time we walk. Now, and then switch legs. Good job, everyone. And then put your feet together, and we're now gonna get our knees moving. So, bend the knees slightly, and you're gonna make circles with the knees. Try and stay balanced as well. Hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is staying safe. Hope everyone is getting the chance to enjoy this beautiful weather. So make sure you are getting active as best you can. Right. Now we are going to do our toe touches. Our toe touches are very important because now we're going to stretch the back part of our legs. So, hands together in front of your body, feet together, you're going to bend at the hips, reach down, touch your toes, and stand back up. We're going to do 10 of these. Well done. This should be feeling this in the back of your legs, everyone. Three more. Done. Now, I'm going to let you into a little secret here, threes. Mr. Pincock is a fantastic dancer, and this is one of my best dance moves. You're going to put your hands on your hips, feet shoulder width apart, and you're going to swing your hips. Swing your hips in big circles, everyone. Getting nice and loose, ready for lots of movement that is coming up. And we go back the other way. Look how cool I look. Imagine if I was in a dance floor, giving it some of these moves. Ask your mums and dads, they would have done the same back in the day. So that is now, hopefully, our lower body is warming up nicely. Give it a shake, give it an Irish jig, change it up, do some different movements. Now, Oh, before we finish, before we go up into our other body, I've got one more exercise. And this is going to test our balance as well. So you're going to stand on one leg. You're going to bring your knee up to your chest. Hug your knee all the way up and pull it up. You should be feeling this in your back of your leg here and towards your glute muscle, which is where your bum is. Drop the knee. Change knees. Balance on the other leg. Hug that knee in close to your chest 
and then drop. Excellent. Now we need to make sure that our body, upper body is warm as well because we're going to be doing lots of movement today. So make a start position and rotate your arms all the way around. Now something a lot of people do when they do this is they close in together. Keep your arms out nice and wide. Keep your chest open and stretches your chest muscles as well. Fantastic. Good job. Now we need to make sure our arms are warm because we're going to be using our arms in our exercises earlier. Earlier, later. So put your right or your left arm across your body. Put your other arm behind the elbow and pull it in really tight and look over the shoulder. You should be feeling the stretch all along here. Fantastic. And swap arms. Perfect. Now, the last thing we're going to do, just to get ourselves nice and mobile and ready, because we are going to hit it hard. We're going to go really, really fast after this. So we need to make sure we get some big arm swings, get the big rotations of our arms, get our shoulders warm, get the muscles having to start to work. Because as we know, when muscles work, they need blood because they need the oxygen to get to them. That means that we need to make our heart work harder. Our heart needs to pump faster. So this is why we're doing physical activity, to stay healthy, to stay fit. The more you move your muscles, the more your heart has to work, making it healthier. If you leave the muscle to not work, it just stops and stops and stops. Where if you keep on pumping it and you keep pumping it harder, it has to work harder, it has to get stronger. So that is why we're doing our physical activity. That is why you should be active every day. Right, let's get energized. We are gonna hit our cardio now, which means we're gonna work on that heart rate. We're gonna raise the heart rate right up now because we're gonna do four different exercises, but we're gonna do different amounts of that exercise. I will explain the four exercises first to you. The first exercise is a star jump. So hands by your sides, feet together, jumping out at the same time, jump back in. That is our star jump. So out, in, out, in. The second exercise we're gonna do is high knees. Hands out in front and your knees are gonna come up and slap your hand. But we're running, it's not just standing, we're running. High knees. The third exercise is a crunch. We're gonna use our tummy muscles. So you're gonna have your legs up in the air, like this, hands behind your head, you're going to bring your elbows up to your knees, squeezing your muscles in your tummy. So down, up, down, up, down, up. That is our crunch. Our last exercise is the burpee. So the burpee looks like this. We're going to bring our hands down to the ground. We're going to kick our legs back, kick our legs forwards. Stand up, jump and clap. So, how this is gonna work is, we're gonna do 40 star jumps. We're gonna do 30 high knees. We're gonna do 20 crunches, and then we're gonna do 10 burpees. After that, we'll have a breather. Then we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna raise up our heart rate, get our heart really pumping fast. We're gonna get sweaty, we're gonna get out of breath, and we're gonna do it all over again. Are we ready? So, if you've got music at home, pump up that music, get it nice and loud, get someone taking photos, get a video of you, and then get that person to join in with you. Let's get everyone in the household nice, physically, and active. So, are we ready? 
We are starting in three, two, one, 40 star jumps, let's go. Black 10. That's 20. Forty. Right now, straight into our high knees. Thirty high knees. Hands out in front. Bringing your knees up. Ready? Let's go. Twenty. Thirty. 20 crunches, lie down on the ground everyone, knees up in the air, hands behind your head, let's go. Last 10. One and done. Last run is our burpees. We ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four. Three, two, one, round one complete, have some water, drink some water, get ready for the next one. Before we do the next one, I'm going to add in another thing, because I think year three you are one of the fittest year groups. And for that, you can do this now. We're going to do 30 seconds sprinting on the spot. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one, go. Sprint on the spot. Swing your arms. Bring your knees up. Get yourself on the spot. Run, sprint. Keep going. You can do it, year three. Come on. 15 seconds left. Come on, bring those knees up. Swing those arms. Keep moving. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Deep breath. Straight into our 40 star jumps. Ready? 3, 2, one, let's go here, three. That's 10. Three, two, one, done. 
10 burpees. Let's go. Are we ready? Woo! Three, two, one. Let's go. Down. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, done, done, done. But wait, we've still got 30 seconds of sprint in us. Are we ready? We go in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, sprint high knees, swing those arms, get that heart rate going. Push, push, push. Keep breathing. Good job. 10 seconds left. Let's count them out. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Whoo! Good job, everyone. Right, have some water. Take some big deep breaths. Okay, well done. So, from doing that little activity, you did that for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes a day, doing something similar you're going to see benefits. You're gonna see that your heart is having to work harder. There's more muscles in your body working, which means it needs more oxygen, which means the blood needs to go around to your body. So please, 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 if you can, try and do a 10 minute workout like that. So you can count out the numbers, you can start from 30, 20, 10 reps. You can do 50 repetitions. You choose, okay? So that is our cardio blast. That is now hopefully raised our heart rates. What we're going to do for this last part of this lesson is I'm going to show you some activities that you can do to help with your striking. So ho hopefully you've been watching the Google Slides. Hopefully you've been looking at the previous um, videos I've made. If you haven't, that's okay. Go into your Google Classroom. You can find the presentations that I've made. You can also look on this YouTube channel and find where it says Mile Post 2, and then it will tell you the striking videos. And then you can practice. So I'm going to show you some activities today. All you're going to need is a little ball for this one. If you don't have one there right now, that's okay. Just watch. You can do it after the lesson. The first thing you're going to do is we're looking at our striking. So we're looking at controlling. We're, look and we're looking at pushing in the right direction. We want to create momentum to go up. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging today by having to hit a moving ball. We've done a lot of work on a stationary ball, a ball that's not moving. But now we're going to look at how we can hit a moving ball. So we need to make sure that we're using the key points that we've spoken about previously which are eyes on the ball, flat palm, and we're pushing. We're not just keeping our hands still, we're pushing from our pocket up. So activity one is hand-to-hand -hand ball control. So you're gonna hit the ball up above your head using the flat part of your hand. You're gonna do 10 in each hand, pushing the ball up. So pushing the ball up. If like me, you're a bit weaker on your, your non-writing hand, try and aim for that middle part of your palm. Okay, so you're gonna aim up, concentrating on where the ball is, pushing with the right amount of power. That is exercise one, it's harder than it seems. The next one, we're gonna do the bounce control. So we're gonna take it into now, first of all, just warming up, by bouncing the ball into the ground with one hand. Now this is not only just for striking, but this can be used for the start 
of our basketball. So when we when we bounce the basketball, when we dribble the basketball, it's the same motion because we use, we use our hand to push, hand to push. Unlike in basketball, we're using a flat palm. In basketball, we use our cup, but this is going to get us working on our motion of our hand. You can bring your elbow up and push, push, push. And then we're going to change hands. Push, push, push. You're going to try and do 20 on each side. Then, to make it even harder, what you can then start to do is start to hit a moving ball again by itself. So, we're going to go right, left, right, left, right, left. And with all these challenges, you can do them by numbers. So you can do 10 on each hand, you can do 20, or you can challenge yourself to see how many you can do without stopping. This is a very good skill to learn because it's working on our hand-eye coordination. It's working on our ball control, so you're manipulating the ball. It's also going to help us in lots and lots of different sports. So basketball, controlling a netball, rugby for passing, and also general striking and fielding games like cricket or rounders or baseball. So what you can do is challenge yourself. So you can use a bigger ball, a smaller ball. And then you've got to try and test yourself to see how many you do. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So that is our first couple of challenges. Our third challenge, you're going to need a partner or you're going to need somebody with you. And what I want to see is the person is going to throw an underarm to you and they're going to try and bring it to this height. And I want you to show me that you can control the ball by hitting it back to them and for them to catch. I don't want you to hit it over their heads. And if you're hitting it into the ground, I need you to think, why is that happening? What can I do differently? And so what I want you to do is focus on that key point of pushing your hand forwards. So in those three activities, we've looked at pushing up, pushing down, and now pushing forwards. If you do that with your partner, again, challenge yourself, see how many times you can do, hit it back to your partner with them catching it. Then you can play a little game. All you need to have is a water bottle and a ball. And what you're going to do, place the water bottle out in front, and you're going to try and hit the bottle with your ball. Start off with trying to hit the ball. You're going to hit the ball at the bottle. A progression of this is you or your partner is kneeling down next to the bottle. The other person is going to throw the ball at the bottle, and you have to try and hit the ball away from the bottle, protecting it. This is a very fun game. You can play this indoors, outdoors. You can also challenge yourself. If you don't want to just do throwing at the bottle, you can kick at the bottle and someone has to hit the ball away. So you're focusing on your striking as well as your fitness. I hope you enjoyed your first live lesson. Great to see so many of you came online. Make sure you send and upload those photos and videos. And next week we will be back and we will be doing more fitness and then a little bit more for your skills. Stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. Enjoy your long weekend. Try and get outside in this lovely weather if you can. And I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye, everyone.